What's up dudes and dudettes, this is Light here and today I'm going to be sharing my top 5 uh, MetaMask alternatives. So in case you haven't heard the recent news, there was a bit of a drama about MetaMask basically collecting people's IP addresses and kind of tracking them and obviously there has been other attempts of censorship in the past for example censoring Iran and certain other countries around the world I obviously did a video back then how to basically bypass the regional restriction on MetaMask and I'm gonna link that in the corner in case you want to check it out but in case you're interested in basically changing out from MetaMask because they kind of support censorship and centralization. That is not exactly the core values of our movement. So I'm basically going to be showcasing you some other alternatives that you can use instead of MetaMask on your browser. Starting off with Trust Wallet, which started out initially as a mobile wallet backed by Binance. They have been around for a long time. I obviously have reviewed the wallet also on the channel. But now, just recently, I think it was two months ago, they uh, released now their own extension. And this is something that is pretty neat given to the fact that it actually supports a quite different multitude of different uh, chains. Uh, for example, out of EVM chains, there's Ethereum, there's also Solana, Polygon, Avalanche, and obviously Binance Smart Chain. And also there is, you know, other detection for basically web, uh, clogging into Web3 uh, programs out there, which is very important for every extension. That's basically the main reasons why we use extensions instead of like desktop wallets. And, but I do want to say you're not able to use this extension to basically log into uh, Solana dApps like Radium or uh, Magic Eden as of right now. So people who are looking for something that is going to be uh, a Phantom alternative, this may not be that yet. And as a side note, Phantom is actually exploring to basically start supporting EVM chains like Polygon and Ethereum in the future. So some, that's something that they're basically working on. So basically, this is what the wallet currently looks like. So you can basically choose uh, your coins, your tokens from here. And there's obviously different chains. So I basically imported my own trust wallet seed phrase to it. And that's how it basically was done. There's a history tab and there's a bit of a, you know, a settings tab. And this default thing, I believe, is the one that basically uses you to log into Web3 things like Uniswap and etc. But there might be some limitations here uh, regarding which you can log into. And here you can basically change in your network. So right now, Polygon, Ethereum, AVAX, and BS, uh, Binance Smart Chain. And then there's Robston and Binance Smart Chain uh, test network as well. Sadly, no Arbitrum, no Optimism here. Uh, those are the ones that people probably would like to see in terms of popularity. But people who are just using Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum, I think this is a quite an ideal option. And also you can store your Solana here as well. Um, moving on, we have another very new wallet called Aurox Wallet. And this is actually a pretty cool one as well. There's a lot of uh, things that they're currently doing. Uh, interesting things like they have a referral program right now which allows you to get different types of perks as you invite more people and yes my referral link is in the description in case you want to support me out and um, you also get your Aurox ENS username so basically uh, easy handle like here you have a Georgie crypto so basically I can send in the wallet to this address uh, without any hassle, which is very convenient in my opinion. So um, for people who are, who are using also the Rx wallet can easily send money to their friends without having to remember the whole string of, of letters. And there seems to be a lot of endorsements here from Chico. Uh, these two guys I don't actually know. And there seems to be like monthly giveaways, uh, private Discord channel, um, private event invites, an NFT avatar that's, that upgrades as you level up on the program. So there's a lot of interesting things here. And right now it is only available on Chrome and apparently it's going to be on App Store in the future. And currently it supports uh, in, um, importing of private keys and right now also seed phrases. However, it has to be 24 word seed phrase. 12 word seed phrases are not be able to be imported as of right now. You can also create a new wallet and there's like all types of phishing protections and things like that smart contract monitoring certi certified I wish more and more you know extensions and dApps in general would have more audits on them that they would provide to the users I think that's just like granted 
artists don't actually cost that much either and you know also you can monitor your nfts apparently on the thing and coming soon true gasless swapping so that's a pretty interesting feature i believe that if you have their own token euros you can basically swap free on the actual application but um let's let's kind of take a bit of a look into and there's a lot of actually tutorials about like how does everything Welcome work and uh, you know in case you want to just like a full rundown if you're a beginner and um here we have the extension there are like multiple different levels they give you all types of different benefits here um and you know this is a pretty cool system so there's markets which you can see like i can uh supervise uh, different prices here i wish they would have just added everything here like you know bitcoin and everything but it just shows you the tokens that are supported on uh, the actual uh, wallet instead um, then the home tab you are able to import different types of wallets so let's say i'm choosing this one and here it shows me my portfolio valuation through time which is kind of cool feature i haven't seen this on any other extension and then there is the gas fee current, which is nice to see as well. And here's the button, whatever we are connected to a DAP or whatever. And here on the balances, you can see also a lot of interesting information, diluted caps. This is actually very convenient. And uh, let me see if I can see. Yeah, it's even information for some altcoins. So that is a very convenient uh, type of DAP. Very, you know, thorough, showing out all the interactions here, what's going on fees and everything sometimes they show the fees in just on the native things i want to know the dollar uh, amount of the fees that's important to me so i really am digging off rx and probably going to be doing a like a separate review also for this one but there's a lot of features into rx and it's definitely a very cool one which we're going to be explored later uh then we have tallyho and tallyho is well it's totally open source so that is a very bullish thing and they are really dedicated for decentralization and the community. There has been very much rumors about them doing their own DAO. And there's going to be a token airdrop happening for the users at some point. They have like a bunch of quests in their Discord. So I recommend joining the Discord community right now. And I do have a separate review of the Tallyho wallet on my channel. So we're not going to be going fully on detail how the actual wallet uh, is like. But, you know, you can go that separate video and see uh, how it looks like. Now, uh, this is available on Chrome and Brave, um, and there's a lot of cool things. For example, there's an inbuilt NFT gallery here, so you can view your NFTs inside it. There's a ledger support, so people who want to move money from their ledger, now they can do it through the extension as well. Um, as we already mentioned, 100% open source. That is something that a lot of wallets are not, and in a lot of ways, especially after the, um, the hack on... I don't remember the, the the Solana wallet that got hacked, basically Fractium, or I can't remember the name right top of my head. Um, it's very important to have now open source uh, codes so we can find out the bugs and we can fix them out and we don't have any problem where the data is being collected by a central entity and people's funds are stolen or something else. There's also an inbuilt swap in the system. Uh, I have to also say that the, U, the UI is pretty nice. And there's going to be a custom Air PC support. This is actually pretty important, and I wish a lot of wallets would put more emphasis on this one. Um, and then there's going to be a social recovery that might be like an email feature. That's actually kind of interesting and cool. And more EVM chains are going to be supported. So right now, I believe there's Polygon, Ethereum, Optimism, and there might have been a one more. I can't remember top of my head uh, as of right now. But definitely um, something I would recommend using maybe just for the sake of the airdrop, but I think it's a very good alternative for MetaMask for sure. And it's a very similar type of UI and interface. So people who like that type of thing, I think Tallyho is a great uh, option. And then we have Frame. And Frame is very, um, I would say a bit tech heavy. So if you're a bit more techy and you like more um, very thorough uh, options and settings and everything regarding that this might be the option for you but if you're a beginner I do not recommend for frame for you so this is also something that you basically download for Windows and then there will be uh, an extension that will be uh, popping out like this and you can see a lot of different interesting buttons here and it's a very different interface guys it takes us some time to get used to using and th this is like a heavily um, like customizable 
There are a lot of like different features here. Uh, it's supported on Chrome and Firefox right now. And um, it, it uses Infura as a native thing and you can change that Infura. Um, you can see there's a Ledger, Trevor, Dresser support, which is another a hardware wallet. Um, what else do we have here? Then where's the connection? Here, here I can choose. So I uh, change the Infura out to Alchemy or something else. And you can even use local options. And then there are different side chains that is supported here. So we have XDAI, um, we have Polygon here, and you can choose even for them, um, the actual RPCs, Arbitrum, uh, Optimism. So far, it doesn't seem that there's a custom RPC support, but it has, I think, all the primary chains which are needed, minus the Binance Smart Chain. I think that should probably be there. But I, I kind of going to be, this is actually kind of thorough, um, extensive type of a wallet in, in a lot of ways because there's things that you can do like adding uh, wallets from Lattice, Ledger, Trezor, Ar Aragon DAO. I'm not that's is that a like a multisig wallet? I'm not sure. And you can add seed phrases and private keys and JSON files and you can also add watch only accounts. So this is a lot more tech heavy type of an extension, but a great alternative for those people who know what they're doing and looking for something similar to that. And obviously because the wallet is hosted on your desktop, uh, there's a different level of security to that. It's like a lot more secure than as such an extension, which can, you know, uh, get, uh, ha ha not hacked, but it can be intercepted or there's a lot more attack vectors to it. But, um, but, but that's, that's another option. I always forgot how to close this thing. <laughs> Okay, where we see quit. There we go. And as our last option here, we have X DeFi Wallet. And this is something that we also have a review on the channel. And what is the perk of X DeFi Wallet is that there are inherent support, as you can see. There is Solana, there is Rune, there's BNB, there's Bitcoin. So also like none, uh, you know, uh, DeFi based chains like Bitcoin are being supported on the wallet. Um, there is, as you can see, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Arbitrum, Avalanche, Bitcoin Cash, BNB, uh, Binance Smart Chain, Doge, Phantom, Litecoin, Polygon, Solana, even Terra2 and Thor Chain. And there's an inbuilt swap. There's also uh, NFT wallet support, which is nice. And that is for a multitude of different chains such as Solana, Ethereum, Avalanche and etc and inbuilt swap as we already mentioned and there seems to be like bridging and stuff like that um and it's available apparently on very very different i never heard about this browser before but in many different um wallets out there and um it's i think it's okay it is a bit of a different interface and it loads a bit slower compared to uh, metaverse metamask for instance but another one that um if people who are those very multi-coin enthusiasts out there uh, this is definitely the one that you want to check out as well. But hopefully you found out a relatively good alternative for MetaMask. I think I want to really always promote projects which are more pro-decentralization and pro-security and obviously, you know, pro-anti-censorship as well. But thanks for watching, guys. I will be seeing you in the next video, whenever it may be. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like and share your comments. What is the wallet that you use and what is the wallet that you like using the most? Cheers.